Let's get right to it. Your first question. You said, Phil, a few weeks ago, the guy from Review Tech USA talked about you in one of his podcasts. Basically, he was watching lame detractor videos and feeding the haters. I feel like you should have a chance to defend yourself. Would you consider making a video with him and basically having a positive conversation with the guy? Maybe his fans will be interested to visit your streams if they see that you're different from those anti-DSP videos. Um, <clears throat> oh boy. I'm going to tell you about Rich, alright? And the kind of guy Rich is. Because I'm sorry, you know, but Rich is the kind of guy who... In real life, I would never, ever want to have an association with this fucking guy. Alright? First of all, Rich. Rutech USA. Started out on YouTube as a tech reviewer. That's what he did. He would be sent a graphics card, a monitor, a piece of, you know, equipment for a PC or gaming or stuff like that. And he would review that tech. And he would play games and stuff and review games and stuff like that. And he got popular for that. But... Then Rich realized that the YouTube bandwagon, right, the way to really make YouTube money was to do what other people were doing. And he saw that there were people who were basically considered talking heads, where every day they would take a news story that sometimes would have to do with gaming, maybe it would have to do with something else, but usually it would be something ludicrous, whatever the ludicrous story of the day is, to cash up drama, right, to get a lot of drama involved. And he would basically just take that news story and commentate about it. One video a day, and this is his content. Nothing whatsoever to do with reviewing tech, nothing whatsoever to do with, you know, just basically drama for the sake of getting views on YouTube, all right? Then, Rich realized, well, if I start saying controversial things and basically starting internet feuds and doing things, I could drop, drop even more drama and I could get more attention for my video, so he started doing that. Then he started getting a social media following. So he said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing tons of like trolling shit on the internet. I'm going to put up pictures of men's nipples, you know, big hairy ugly dudes with naked nipples and tweet it at random people. Basically, Rich is the kind of guy who like, he's the fucking, the high school jock who never grew up, right? He's the guy who just doesn't get reality. Like to him, he thinks that it's totally cool to do all that stupid kitty shit. And to make money, because he makes money off of it, so why would he care, right? No matter who it hurts, no matter where, what happens with what he does, as long as he benefits from it, he doesn't give a fuck. And he's also one of those fair weather people where at some points he'll stick up for you, and then all of a sudden he'll stab you in the back. And I'll give you a perfect example here, okay? Rich used to constantly bring me up and say negative stuff about me, and that, oh, you know, oh my god, it's, he feels YouTube channels failing and shit like that drama. Which is, I don't know, even know the guy, I don't talk to the guy, I don't talk about the guy. So why he would be, bring me up in his videos or whatever, I don't even understand. Then, last year I had my incident, where I was caught doing a thing uh, that was quite inappropriate to be doing on a stream. Um, and Rich actually stood up, stood up for me, and stood up for me and said, listen... You know, it was obviously something, it's not faked, it's something that it was legitimate, it's something that he did completely by accident, and you shouldn't crucify the guy for doing something that we all do. Is it shitty that it happened to him in a bad situation and now it's all over the internet forever and he'll never live it down? Yeah, but I think he can recover as long as he sticks to his guns, he admits that he did it, or whatever, and I did, you know, at the time I did exactly what everyone had kind of said I should do. I admitted, I fessed up to it, I said it was an honest mistake, I laughed at the memes, I didn't get angry. And it did. It went away. I mean, even though people still bring it up to this day, I still laugh at it. I still think it's fucking funny what happened. But Rich actually stood up for me in that situation and said positive things about me. Three months later, so, no, actually, take it back. Two months later, so from May when that happened to July, he's back to making drama shit. Look at, oh my God, he's looking at Social Blade. Oh my God, look at Phil's views on YouTube. They're down. He's going to go out of business. What is his, any, his fucking business anyway? He doesn't know how much money I'm making. He doesn't know anything about anything. Yeah, here he is talking shit like, I'm going to go out of business. I'm, I'm doing horrible at business. It's none of his business, but he loves to do that. He loves to drop drama and shit to get people to come see his stuff. The more negativity he can stir up, the better, because then he can get more attention for himself. Much like Keemstar and all those other people. It's funny because apparently he claims sometimes he hates Keem or whatever. He's just like him. He's literally become Keemstar light in a lot of ways. <clears throat> Now, in particular, I think the reason that Rich did that stream was because someone had asked me, I think on a pre-stream or something about him, basically I said, I know nothing about him, I don't really care about him, I don't want to talk about him. And then somehow we got into some other subject, and I made a comment, and I said, I feel that YouTubers, that all they do is they take a news story, or they take a dra drama, and all they do is make these drama vids or whatever, are completely worthless. They add nothing to society, they do nothing productive, all they do is hurt people at the expense of, uh, of you know, of their own 
you know, gratitude so they can make money and they could get popular. They hurt other people on purpose. There's no purpose to having TMZ on YouTube. TMZ itself is horrendous. We don't need it on YouTube. And that's what Keemstar is, you know. And I think when I made that comment, he thought I was talking about him, which actually I wasn't. I was more referencing Keemstar. I didn't say him by name, but I was kind of referencing Keemstar. And he must have thought that I was talking about him because someone previously in that same asked or that same uh, pre-stream or whatever had asked about Rich and Review Tech USA. So he probably got all butt hurt. That's how he is too. He's a little bitch. He gets like so angry about little things. He can say whatever he wants about you, but God forbid you say something about him. Now that's it. So he decided to go down and sit and, and watch detractor videos with his viewers. Why? Because he knew the detractors would come. Oh my God, a YouTuber who's popular is watching detractor videos about Phil. I got to go join that. And that's what they did. And guess what? He got a boost in views and he made money on it. Rich is a whore. I'm sorry. Rich is a whore. That is the best thing you could describe it. He had something that he wanted to do on YouTube. He wasn't being successful at it. So he decided to throw the whole, give up on it, throw it away. And now do something that everyone else does and whore it himself out, whore out other people for money. He jumps on the biggest trends, the biggest drama. He'll make you comment about the biggest stories just for his own personal benefit and attention. He doesn't care who he hurts. He doesn't care at what expense, just like Keemstar. He's just as bad as Keemstar. The only difference is he's nowhere near as fucking popular as Keemstar. Therefore, he's not as destructive when he makes videos like that. Like, I'll be honest, that video he did, that stream, no one cared. Like, it didn't negatively affect me at all because no one cares about fucking Review Tech USA. You know what I mean? He literally is the copycat who jumped on the drama bandwagon way later than everybody else. He's worthless. He could just disappear from YouTube tomorrow, and no one would give a fuck. Everyone would be like, oh, well, go to the next drama guy. Versus someone like me, if I disappeared from YouTube, how many other people are there like me on YouTube right now that are genuine gamers who are doing it the way I still do it? They're not doing these highly fucking polished, edited, scripted bullshit. They're doing genuine gameplay and stuff like me. No, everyone's abandoned my formula because it's not nearly as lucrative as doing it the other way around but i stuck to my guns and i still do what i do if i disappear from youtube there's a huge gap missing if he disappears from youtube fucking who gives a shit wipe your ass with him and go fucking watch the next drama guy who's exactly the same right so you're saying why should i do a video with him or have a positive conversation with him maybe his fans will be interested to visit your streams if they see that you're different from those anti-dsp videos i'll tell you right now that won't happen because his viewers are brain dead his viewers, like seriously, the people who watch his drama shit, drama shit, they're not there to watch intelligent gameplay stream. They're not there to have fun with a gamer who's not going to jump in on all the popular shit that's popular on YouTube. They're there for drama and kitty shit. And already amongst those drama viewers, they think that I'm a horrible person because I jerked off on stream and all the other shit. So all that stuff, you know what I mean? It's basically, it's, it's not going to benefit me at all. To be, for me to do a video with him, or sit down with him and have a conversation with him like that wouldn't benefit me at all. It would benefit him because he get the drama, he get the burst, he get everything. It would just have no positive impact whatsoever. I mean, his viewers are never gonna come watch my shit, um, and it sucks because I know that the guy can be reasonable. Like I said, there was times when he's been reasonable with me, and I think I'm cool with him. And then it immediately turns around and he has to say more negative drama shit about me. So I want nothing to do with the guy. Seriously, like that guy is such a two faced fat piece of shit. He pisses me off. Like I seriously hate people like that, that are so fucking dishonest and two-faced and, and will do anything to make a fucking nickel. He's disgusting in my opinion. I mean, he's a disgusting human anyway. He sucks on fucking cucumbers. Like, they look like dicks. And he wears his fucking shirtless and shit. He's gross. He's a fucking nasty dude. I want nothing to fucking do with him.